tail end of season one, we kind of left off uh, uh, with, a, with a cliffhanger. I'm sorry, but who are you? Mark Novak. I'm the acting chief of this emergency department. So you've been on for two days straight. How's the new guy already telling me I put too much on my plate? How long have you known we were here? Since you came. I need a surgeon's eyes on something, June. Car crash, impact wound, lower right quadrant. How far are you from a hospital? Half an hour at least. I, I, I tried to find a consult, but we're stretched thin. Intra-abdominal pressure? Increasing, and his pressure is rapidly decreasing. One more dose of morphine, Saleh. I see bowel protrusion. Abdominal evisceration. Uh, tear in the peritoneum can release pressure. It has nowhere to go, so it pushes the organs to the surface. Yeah, don't push them back in. Just douse a towel in saline, cover them, and handle them as little as possible. There's an arterial bleed. To find it, tie it off, then seal it. You need to keep the pressure up or he won't make it. We're out of sealant. Um... Do you have electrodes? What's that? portable? Yes, we have some. Hold it. Okay, take the adhesive, seal off the wound. Yeah. It's the it's it's the moment right after, um, you know, it's, you know, cliffhanger ad break, but this ad break lasted two years uh, and then and then we're and then we're right back to it. And uh, we find out immediately, um, you know, who this mystery woman is. We we address, you know, Bishop's, uh, you know, situation and, and his condition and everything like that. And and there's no uh, there's no there's no teasing. There's nothing. It's just. We're right back into it. I think the big debate during the, the hiatus was obviously global events, mm -hmm. but the, there had always been the intention to, to, as Hamza says, to pick up like right where we left off. And that was the story that the writers wanted to tell. You know, that was the Hamza story that they wanted to tell and to, to continue that journey, to broaden that out and to, and to, to get to know the, the other characters more, to see what their issues are. I think there must have been a lot of discussion about what had happened in the meantime. Um, and by the time we went back into production, as other shows and, and new shows were going into production and dealing with those events, I, I think it was maybe the right choice to say, like, maybe everybody's had enough of COVIDs and protocols and masks and all of that. Let's, let's tell the show that we wanted to tell. And, uh, you know, it's... It, it's, it, it's um, educational to some extent it's about a world that we don't necessarily know people we don't know but it's also one of the things that television does is provide a little bit of escapism and I think after the times that we had that was maybe the right decision to to just get back to how things were in a in a slightly easier time okay um we we spent so much time with medical professionals on the show writing them consulting with them and it's just like it was such an overwhelming thing for this massive crisis that that with you know new information changing information every single day that they were dealing with on a day to day basis and just in you know and, and not only medical professionals but everybody in the world they're dealing with this that like at the end of the day you know we are we're not the news people are being oversaturated with news about covid and everything like that and it's important to stay informed but we we aim to we aim to entertain we aim to educate through entertainment and we we tell stories and covid was just a story that i think globally we can agree that we all heard way too much about um you know with respect to the the the, the cases and the and the numbers and the and the and, and just the, the fear around it that out of respect for anybody who may be overwhelmed for that we don't touch it at all we do not go into it and um, it's the last thing that anybody would want to watch on TV when dealing with it every day. <laughs> the last time I thrilled a woman by standing in my own, I was a child. My comparisons to your mother and there? Fiona was a handsome woman. <laughs> that will do, Belle. Are you fussing around me? Don't you have an exam to study for? 
I'm ready for it. Your rehab team wants to see you today at 4 p.m. They say I'm making fast progress. I, I think one of the things that people have to do in order to get to the top is kind of be, a, it's not just about talent. And I think what, what we see a lot of from Bishop in the second series is the politics of the hospital. And I think he's a political operator. You know, I think he's already been disingenuous in season one in dealing with his own condition. And that's led to, to what we saw at the end of the first season. Um, and, you know, there's very much a theme in the, in the second season of second chances of, you know, another go round where you get to like maybe look at your life and see if you did the right things and made the right choices. But I think for, uh, to use an old cliche, old dogs and new tricks, you know? And uh, I think, yeah, what we'll see is, is someone who is not only a, a talented physician, but also a, a skilled political operator. Uh, and that, that tends to be Bishop's journey in the second season. He's offered second chances, but we'll, we'll find out towards the end how he, how he deals with those and the consequences of that. Top of season two, we are introduced to a character named Rania, um, who Bash had thought this whole time to, to have been dead. Season the first season ended the way that it did, and there was not only um, this this building intimacy with with Bashir and Mags, um, and then there's the cliffhanger of this mystery woman who shows up. Uh, like 13 minutes later and it's like okay well well what's going to happen and season two is an exploration of what's going to happen and um and you know there's there, there's conflict there's confusion there's uh and you know there's a lot of you know there's a lot of there's a lot of love there for um for a lot of parties and for um you know, both for uh, Rania's character, who's this mystery woman, and uh, and Mags, and we just see Bash navigate all of that. Um, the life, the life he once had that he thought he lost, versus the life he thought he was moving towards, and um, and and where he lands at the end of all of that. So, and I feel like we're we're fortunate enough to have people to uh, like, you know, the writers, the showrunners, the decisions that they make. That they're they're invested in good storytelling and um, and hopefully uh, hopefully the audience will agree, and if they don't, well, it's already in the can. Can't do anything about it. So exactly.